Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get real-time quotes from TD Ameritrade's API. In order for us to get real-time quotes, we need to authenticate our account and you will need to log into your brokerage account to generate a code that we need to get an access token. So I found a Python script that will help in this process. And what the script does is open up Google Chrome. You will need to enter your credentials to log in. After you log in, it'll generate a code that we will need in order for us to get a bearer token. So all this is done very efficiently in this code. So I'll end up sourcing the script in R in order for us to use it. So these are some of the packages that we will need. If you don't have some of the Python packages installed, you could always install them in R using pi underscore install. So I'm gonna call in this Python script using source underscore Python. You will need to pass in your API key here. You will also need a callback URL, which I will add. If you don't remember what your callback URL was, you can always check on your app. So I'll be copying this. So we'll paste it here. So I'll go ahead and run this authentication wrapper. Here you will need to sign in. All right, so after you sign in, you should get a similar message and we'll hit allow. So it's normal to see this page. It just generated a code that's needed to get the bearer token. So if you go back to our studio, here on your console, just hit enter. All right, so after that's done, you'll get a list with six items. And one of those items is the access token, which we will pass in here. But if this is your second time running it, you will just need to pass in your refresher token to get a new access token. All right, so this is the wrapper to get real-time quotes. I'm passing in my access token. This is the API URL. I'm passing in my API key along with the ticker I want. I'll send a request using our token. I'll fix some timing issues and return the quote. So here I'll minimize this function. I'll go ahead and run it. And then I'll make a request to get Amazon. So if we take a look at the quote, we see that we do have some data in there. And I believe it's the last column. This should be false, indicating that we are getting real-time quotes. All right, guys, so I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I will post these two scripts on GitHub, and I will leave the link down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.